Hello and welcome back to my video blog. Today I want to talk to you about writing an offer on a short sale. So you as a buyer want to take the opportunities that the marketplace gives you right now and write an offer on a short sale. First of all, a lot of agents don't even want to write on a short sale because right now I just saw national statistics that showed less than 40% of all short sales actually close. And that's due to a couple reasons. The first one being financing, the second one being lack of cooperation from the buyer, lack of cooperation from the seller. There's a list of about six or seven different reasons. But let me talk to you about you as the buyer making an offer on a short sale. Because I personally believe that the best opportunities in this market are in short sales. Foreclosures, generally we're seeing multiple offers on, short, on, on foreclosures. Short sales, you're not. You're seeing generally the uh, best deals come from a short sale situation. The discount is coming from having to wait. And actually banks are starting, they've closed the gap on how long it takes to do a short sale. So in a lot of instances, it's only 60, 90, 120 days tops to get a good deal. And I've seen some great deals. I've seen properties sell the, at the $900,000 mark, 875 mark, that the house across the street, the exact same model, sold for a million two, a million three. So I'm just giving you an example in that price range, but in all price ranges, the discounts are there. You just have to know what to do. A lot of buyers agents, and this is the this is the this is the problem. This is the frustration. A lot of buyers agents will say, "Oh, I'm not going to ever have my client do a appraisal or home inspection up front on a short sale because we don't know if it's going to close." Well, first of all, if you're not going if you're not willing to do a short uh, appra appraisal and a home inspection up front, you might not be the candidate to purchase a short sale. And I say that because, hey, why would you want to be in a deal for four or five months, three, four, five months? and find out when you do the home inspection as a house you don't want. Wouldn't you rather just find that out right up front? Do your inspection. If you don't like it, move on and find something else instead of waiting. Okay. Second of all, on an appraisal, one the biggest reason, the biggest single reason why short sales don't succeed is because there's a pricing difference between what the bank believes and what the actual market value is. Now, wouldn't you rather have the appraisal done up front so you have something to fight the bank with? Um, we use, we, we always suggest to our clients, strongly suggest to our clients to do the appraisal up front because then you have an appraisal versus what's called a BPO. Banks generally ask for a BPO, which is a broker price opinion, which is simply they're paying a realtor, not any realtor in a transaction, but a third party realtor, anywhere from 35 to $50 to go out and give a value of the property. Now, how does that stand up against a licensed appraiser? It doesn't. So uh, the tactics that we use to get our short sales completed is to have the appraisal done up front. All right. You'll know if you're working with a, uh, an agent that's experienced in the short sale market by the way they answer that question. You ask them, should you do an appraisal up front? Should you do a home inspection? Their intentions are in the right place. They want to offer, they want to make sure that you, the buyer, don't spend any money you don't have to. But in the long run, if you're buying a five, six, seven hundred thousand dollar house and you're not willing to put up six, seven hundred dollars to get the deal done, maybe it's not the house for you. Maybe you need to be in the traditional market versus the short sale market. However, by doing that, you're going to get yourself a discount compared to the regular straight traditional sale. Those are the tips. We have a whole lot more that we do with our clients working on the buy side to get them into a short sale and to be successful. So, because at the end of the day, keep your eye on the prize and that's crossing the finish line. And that means you getting the keys to the house that you want. So, any other questions, feel free to contact me. We have a couple strategies, like I said, that we use. Um, they've been successful. Knock on wood, we've been extremely successful. On our short sales, we're over 93% close rate compared to the market. So, anyhow, you have a great day. I hope you're enjoying our video blogs. Let me know if you have any suggestions of any topics you'd like me to go over. Take care. Talk to you soon.